I'm Joanna, thanks for joining me for this session which is all about your core and your midriff. So we're really going to actually taper, whittle the waistline, flatten the abdominals and do it in a way that actually grows this great mobility for the spine, really targets into the waistline but without any sort of upper back or neck pain which can often be so uh, common if we're doing sort of normal sit-ups in a gym. So come join me and I hope you enjoy. We're going to start on all fours. So from here, we're just going to come around and what we want to do before we sort of start really any abdominal work is just connect with our body positively. So I'm just coming on all fours here. I have my wrists underneath my shoulders. I've got my knees under my um, hips. And I'm just going to rock myself a little bit from side to side, just getting connected and sort of feeling where I am with my body today. And from this position here, it's always good to get a bit of back mobility happening before we go into any abdominals. So I'm just going to leave with my sternum going to the cut and cow, which you may be familiar with some of my other sort of workout video. So I'm leading with the sternum. The chin is kind of quite low and I just tilt my bottom out so I just get a bit of little mobility of the spine and now I lead it. So I tuck the tailbone under. And what's important here is I'm actually starting this movement from my abdominals. It's not so much the spine. I'd like you to feel that the abdominals are drawing the pubic bone and the sternum closer together. So we're starting to engage that area already as we mobilize into the spine. That's really important to help with that connection. So here we go. So we're going to tuck the tailbone underneath, start right down in that sort of tricky transverse muscle area, which is difficult to really target and flatten. Drop the chin underneath you, feel a little bit of spread maybe between the shoulder blades. Keep breathing, that breath should be nice and smooth. And just a couple more here. So just lift up through the sternum, length through the tailbone. So we're not crunching here, it's all about length and space and strength in the body. And last one, just tilting underneath here. Feel the breadth across the shoulder blades, tuck that tailbone under, and then just come back to a nice tabletop position. So from here, just bring your weight a little bit onto your hands, just feel a bit familiar, you can rock yourself around. And again, all of this is challenging your balance, it's challenging where you are with the centre of your body, and that's really helpful for your abdominals. So come to a stationary position, and from here what I'd like you to do, we're still sort of loosening up the spine, we're going to come and onto one knee. So lifting up the toe, what I'd like you to do is just turn to look at that toe. So you can just have a little look that way at the toe, okay, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then that toe is going to come across the midline of the body, and you're going to turn to look at it over your other shoulder, okay? Just have a look at my feet, they're a bit dirty, I do apologise, this floor's a bit, not as cute as I thought it was. <laughs> we'll look at it again, so we just turn to look at that toe, and just getting a little bit of lateral motion here in the spine, which is so important, okay? I've still got my weight on both feet, both hands, and that leg comes down, and I repeat on the other side. So just come onto the fleshy part of the knee. If you're at all sensitive to your knees here, you can always put a towel underneath here. So check your position, draw those abdominals in. Just take a little look at your feet. So you turn that knee just slightly out that way. Turn to look at it with your shoulders and down your knees. Look at that, okay. And then just come the other way one more time each side. And as you repeat this, you're just maybe being respectful, just making, making a sort of awareness of how your body's feeling today. Come back down, rest that foot down, and you're gonna tuck your tailbone underneath you. And I'm just gonna ask you just to lift your body weight forward a little bit, and then slowly and surely walk your feet into your hands. So, hanging out here nice and low. Whatever feels comfortable, your tailbone is down, your abdominals are drawn in. So yes, you've got your chest close to your thighs, but you're not just sort of relaxed here. I want you to feel that there's a bit of integrity. Your abdominals are drawing in and you're pulling away from your clothes. And then very slowly, you're just gonna curl up through your spine. So feel yourself grow. Don't have to rush this, listen to your body, whatever feels right for you. Curl up, curl up. So this area is working. You're getting lovely mobility through the spine as you curl up and the head comes last. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Just feel present with where you are at this moment in time. And then I'm going to turn to face you because we're now going to move into a little sort of standing sequence. So from here, connect with the ground. You're going to do one abdominal J. So this is my standing abdominal exercise. Your hands are going to be level with your belly button. And as the hands come down and you're tracing the sort of shape of the curve, what I'm going to ask you to do is draw this lower transverse in. You're now going to lift up, 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 up. The shoulders come down, you taper into the rib cage, and you really keep the length here between the ribs and the hips, drawing in 
and flatten this area so you really notice how I've grown I've got that lovely length. The abdominals are working under length and tautness and flatness here. I'm going to keep breathing but have a real discipline like a wet tea towel lengthening it out. Holding it for four more, for three more, for two more and one more and relax down. Good job. Let's do one more. Now if you haven't done this with me before check out the tutorial I've got on my YouTube channel. So it's Chad explained exactly what we need to do here. So as I come down, I'm really drawing in that tricky transverse muscle. And then I'm going to scoop in, 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 all the way up. I relax the shoulders down so the rib cage is not popping out. It's really neat here. And then I've got that global greeting. Keep your internal obliques long and taut and flat so the waistline looks neat rather than out here. Okay, so lift up, people. Keep that tautness. So you're putting it in and up for 10 counts, for nine counts, for eight, even if you feel your mind is drifting and nothing's working this area, focus on it. Really visualize, you've got five more here. It's a real scoop, it's a four, it's a three, it's a two, it's a one, and just take it off about 10%, just 10%. So, you're still lifted. We're gonna now work into the waistline a little bit more. So extend the arms out. Now, the trick here is as I take my arms out to the side, I am lengthening underneath this finger. So there's no pressure here. I've really got the length through the fascia net underneath the arms. And I'm gonna extend one leg out to the side. Now really extend that, almost like you're trying to get the edge of my mat. This hand, okay, is gonna to come to my shoulder. So I've got real length here. I'm thinking about the distance from this elbow to that toe. And now I'm gonna draw elbow to knee. Are we ready? Go. So I'm coming in and then I reach right out again and again. So I come in here and right out. So I can be just doing this, which I'm not doing, but I want length. So I want discipline here, people. So we draw elbow to knee and take it right out again so you feel the length. And this is fantastic to work into your waistline. You've got two more in, reach out. Notice I've got a slight tuck under my tailbone. Woo! And one more, I'll show you. I was thinking about turning sideways to show you. So look here, here and I tuck under, so I really caught here, and then back to that length, I'll do one more here and again. So tuck under and out, that's good. Come back, give me one ab J, here we go. So I'm gonna draw in, get that length again, shoulders come down, tape it into that rib cage, and finish off with your global greeting. So you're neat, your bottom is relaxed, but I'm drawing in here, so keep it nice and neat. We're gonna hold it for four more breaths, for three more, for two, long, 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 for one, Relax down, maybe about 10%, 20%, energize again. So, fingers are long underneath that area. So really feel there's no strain here on the neck. Take the other leg out. So really feel I'm long through that leg. This is where you've got to focus on feeling, lifting up through here, long through that body. This hand comes to that shoulder. And now I'm going to come knee to elbow. Are you ready? Let's do it. So I come in and I come out. And again, in and out. Now the movement is actually hip to rib. I'm really trying to get those two points closer together. So I come here and out. And as you do this, remember you've got a little tuck under and out. Almost like you're taking a photograph here so you've got that element of control. Give me two more. Give me one more. In and out. Step in. Abjay, finish here. So come in, tuck under. Really make sure you draw in and lift up. So I'm just showing you sideways here. Notice how my spine grows. Shoulders come down, taper in. Keep that length here for 10 and for nine. Feel neat with your body. Feel how your flesh is coming away from your clothes. You can do this, people. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Good job, take a rest. Okay, now moving on. From this position, come to the end of your mat. Take the arms right above your head, stretch tall, chin comes in towards you. Now, as you bring the hands down your face, follow your chin and you're going to walk your hands down your body, scooping around. So get movement happening in your spine, drawing in the abdominals. And in this position here, people, pull your abdominals in really tight. Maybe feel a bit of a stretch in the back of the thighs, bend the knees if that feels more comfortable. And we're going to walk the hands out. So one, two, three, four. Take this into position and then adjust yourself. So 
I'm in a plank position, so you have this option. This option here is a little bit more challenging than coming down onto your knees. So I'm gonna do the first one on my knees, you choose your level. From here, draw the abdominals in, tuck that tailbone under, and feel really strong, okay? So suck in the abdominals, and we're just gonna hold this balance. If this feels a little bit kind of easy for you, or you want a bit more challenge today, tuck your toes underneath you and come up into a full plank. It's your choice, it's your workout. The most important thing is that you go for quality. So four more, three more, scoop it in, think flat, two and one. Good job. Now from here, take one leg out and that knee is going to come into your nose. So we draw in and then we come out. And again, come in and come out, rest down, repeat on the other side. Here we go. So we're going to come into knee to nose, curl that spine long through the body and again in and long through the body. That's great, people. Take the feet down. Ready? We're going to push up onto a plank, and this time I'm going to walk my feet into my hands. So here we go. One little tiny step. So again, use the abdominals, get a little bit of curvature in the spine, and from here, hang out. You're going to curl up nice and gently. Deep breath in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Good. How are we doing? All right. Come back. Second set with our abjays. Are we ready? Here we go. So we draw in, we lift up, shoulders down, taper, global greeting. So we keep that uniqueness, that flatness for 10, for nine. Notice how it's an improvement to my posture if I'm down here. It's very different from when I've got my abjay connected. So we've probably got about five more, four more, three more. How are we doing? Bottom stays relaxed, remember. Two, so no clenching. One, and release down. Good, take the arms out, energize underneath those fingers so you've got length. Energize that leg, lift up, have discipline through this side of the body, hand to come to your shoulder, and we're doing elbow to knee, rib to hip. Ready, go, in and out. Come in and out. Visualize your rib coming to your hip bone. It doesn't matter how big a movement you have with your knee and your elbow, it's all about bringing those two opposing sides together. Come in, and out, we'll do one more I think, in and out, good. Come back, out J here, draw in, lift up, shoulders, V down, keep that length, okay? Nice and soft for the breath, drawing in, length, knee trim down. So you've got 10 count holds, remember the bottom is relaxed, no gripping, because that just puts strain on your back, so it's really important, symmetrical lift. You'll look better and it helps your posture. You've probably got about four more. You've got three more because I'm talking so more much. How are you doing? Two and one. And release down a little bit. Are we ready? Last side. Here we go. Arms come out. Leg goes out. Really think long, long, long. So you create space down that thigh. Hand comes to your shoulder. Energize. Good posture. Are you ready? Elbow to knee. Go. So come in. Reach out. And again, come in. Reach out. Almost imagine you're taking a photograph here and there, all right? So we come in and there, well done. Two more, keep breathing for me. In, let's just do one more. Really come in and back, step in and out, Jay. Here we go, and draw in, lift up, shoulders, V down, keep that neatness. Bottom stays relaxed, okay? Space is here, we're creating great strength for the spine, for the back, Flatten the abdominals, coming in here for 10 more. Let's do nine, let's do eight, seven. I'm not the best in my counting, but I have your best intentions, I promise. Let's go five more, four more, three more, two more, one more, and let it off a little bit. Okay, last little bit, come to the end of your mat. Are we ready? Here we go, reach up, stretch tall. And as the hands come down your face, your chin chucks under, you start to feel that curvature of the spine. It initiates from your abs. Let the hands come down your body, 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 roll down. Appreciate maybe how that feels a little bit better. Lift up through the backs of the thighs, work to your level, bend the knees, keep breathing for me, walk the hands out. So I'm gonna come this time, the harder option is gonna be a full plank. So here we are, people. Take a couple of minutes just to, a couple of minutes, what am I talking about? A couple of seconds just to get into the right position. So check that you have your pressing well. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, you're pressing your fingertips into the mat, so that helps your wrists. Maybe a little bit more weight to the thumb side of your hand than the other. Breath across the shoulders, so 
bring your elbows to the opposite wall. So that keeps breath across your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone under a little bit and you're really drawing in your abdominals and you press and you energize your feet away from you so you're strong. Breathe for me. How are we going? Okay, good, nice. Remember, you've got the option, you can always come down onto your knees, so you make it a little bit of an easier modified plank. Work to your level. It's the quality, not the quantity. Now, here we go, people. I'm gonna bring one foot a little bit more to the middle, and this leg is coming out. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit, and then this knee is coming right in to my opposite elbow, so it comes in here and long. And again, it comes in right in, so we're trying to work into the obliques again, out. Two more here, in and out, take a rest if you need to, in and out, hold it, nice and strong, check your technique, foot comes down, focus, well done, and adjust your position, are we ready? Last aside, here we go, hold it up for a bit, nice and strong, and elbow to knee, comes out, okay? Now as you bring that in, you need to tuck your tailbone under, and you extend the leg out, last two, in and out, and last one here, in, suck, suck, suck it in people. There we go, and rest it back, well done. Adjust yourself, are you ready? We're gonna walk the feet in. So the hips come high, and this time the feet are gonna walk in, in, in to the hands. From this position, just hang out for a little bit. You've done really, really well, how are you feeling? Whew. Just let the hips open up a little bit, okay? And then very slowly drop the knees down a little bit, bend, remember whatever feels right for you. You listen to your body. The chest can be close to the knees, but make sure you're not just flopping down here. Draw those abdominals in, and you're gonna slowly and carefully uncurl the spine. Curl here, draw the abdominals in. So it's active work, active lengthening all the time as you come up whew, through the body. Deep breath in, take the arms above your body. How are you doing? You've done really, really well. Woo, it's kind of really, really warm in here. So just check the distance between your ears and shoulders. Take a deep breath in, take the arms wide. Good. And we're gonna reach our last stretch now because we're all done with the hard work. But the quality of our movement is still really important. So lift up out of that wrist, get the distance here, and then reach up and out of that spine. So you've got the space in the lower back, you're still drawing in here. Good, and then lift up, and then take the arms down to the side. Lift up again, last little song mode, here we go. Lift up from this side, distance, discipline, lift and reach. And you should feel really pleased with your efforts. You've done really well. This area should feel that it's worked, okay? Remember, you've worked to your level, and you can build on that. Good, come back, take the arms behind your body, and just put one hand here, one hand behind. So all I'm doing here is I'm just giving myself body awareness and I'm just going to rotate towards my back hand, just get a little bit of rotation, softness of the knees, deep breath in and breathe out. Good, on the other side. So one hand comes to the front, one hand comes behind and again it's a real positive connection. Lift up and then just lead with your torso so the head follows, so there's no strain on the neck, just loosening off that back. And again, I'll just show you from the side where my hands are. So it just connects you with your body. Deep breath in, and then bring the body to the center. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me. You have done a fab job, and um, I really enjoyed teaching you. Thank you. Have a great day.